if you haven't been up to date, I've been recovering from liver damage caused by the carnivore diet. As you can imagine, almost eight years on a diet is not going to fix itself overnight, in a few weeks, even in a few months. I was talking about my liver damage to a Honduran contractor uh, that was fixing something at my warehouse several months ago, and he gave me a home remedy you know, from Honduras, where he was from, Honduras. They would take a very starchy white vegetable, blend it up with water, drink one half in the morning, one half at night. What scared me was the length of time he suggested lined up with what I had been assuming. He said, do this for six months, every single day, twice per day. Now, you know, most people try to fix their livers with supplements, tutka, milk, thistle, when in reality, they just need a clean slate, plain carbohydrates, for the liver to expel all of those toxins. You know, you need a sponge to absorb it and take it out of the body. Now that particular vegetable he mentioned isn't exactly accessible in the United States, but I have some potential substitutes. And there are two sides to this idea, one natural and one supplement. On the natural end, we have Granny Smith apples and lemon juice. You don't really need the lemons. I figured it would be nice to add some flavor, some vitamin C. And I would say this is the safest way to start off, just one blended apple with some lemon juice, but we'll go into specifics in a few minutes. On the supplement end, which you may use due to a lack of access to fresh produce or for more effectiveness, perhaps added flavor, we have flextrose, fiber, vitamin C, sodium ascorbate, and ascorbic acid. And the, the salt would go in both just you know, to add some more complexity to it and some electrolytes. By using the combination of glucose and fiber, I'm kind of replicating the carbohydrate profile of Granny Smith apples or that starchy vegetable. And ascorbic acid will help with metabolism of carbohydrates as you know, vitamin C is one of the vitamins that are greatly stressed when you eat a lot of sugar or starch. And to be clear, Glucose, and this Flextrose is 99% glucose powder supplement, the only one that exists on the market in organic form, something you can actually eat without destroying your body, you know, because if you're taking corn maltodextrin, there's so many toxins in that, it's not exactly a liver detox. Glucose being the best molecule for detox as so many cells in the body use it. The problem is it has a low gut motility, so it's going to pull the toxins out, but then they're just going to sit there. By adding fiber to it, using a combination of this with whole fruits, higher volume foods, we have something that can both detox our system and keep everything moving out. We don't want those toxins sitting in our body. Now the meals I've been eating over these past few months have had that goal of sucking toxins out of the liver, but then another meal has to be frequently eaten so that they can pass through the body and detox in the bowel movement. Again, so many people are trying to add things, supplements, foods to their diet and lifestyle to get healthy, to detox, yet they've overlooked the simple mechanism that most of it happens when you're going to the bathroom and you really need a clean slate, plain starch basically. You don't want any compounds in it, plant or animal. You want to keep it really minimal. Uh, so I'm going to peel these apples and I'll show you guys how I would combine everything here in a smoothie. And uh, let me add to this, you know, if you're just starting off fixing your liver damage, you're removing dairy, eggs, and different things from your diet to try to see what works, do not do this. You know, if you feel like crap, detoxing will make you feel even more like crap. So you want to feel at least somewhat good, okay, before you can try to accelerate the detox with things like this. Just a real quick overview of these ingredients. We have the Flextrose, the 99% organic glucose available on Frankie's freerangefoods.com. I'm not gonna use these vitamin C, sodium ascorbate today, maybe a little bit, but we have the lemon juice. So, you know, these are kind of interchangeable. This is clear acacia powder. I prefer Jerusalem artichoke, but they didn't have it and, you know, I couldn't get it in time. This should be okay, might not be the best one. Salt, Frankie's strange meat, you could use any high quality land salt. And Granny Smith apples have a higher starch profile than regular apples, and, and we need some starch, some very plain stuff in the diet that can be blended. And there weren't really any vegetables that fit the bill that I could find in the supermarket compared to the, the one the Honduran guy was talking about. 
So first I'm adding eight ounces of bottled mineral water and you don't want to use something like Gerolsteiner that has very high calcium because that's going to actually reduce the gut motility. I sliced up two of the Granny Smith apples because they are kind of small. And again, I'm not really sure Granny Smith are the exact best choice here. Maybe some other apple is just as good, but this is what we're trying. So I'm going to squeeze the juice of the lemon in here. Now this is where you could stop if you're really natural, if you're just starting out, if you don't want something that's going to irritate your body too much. You know, the one big apple or two medium apples and a bit of lemon juice in the water, you blend this up, maybe just add a little bit of salt to it, and then you can drink this. I'm going to add some of the acacia powder, just a white powder. It has an actual, like, sweet smell to it, about a tablespoon. The flextrose, I'm going to put maybe two tablespoons and just a quarter teaspoon of sodium ascorbate. Okay, now I'll blend this up. And that's about perfect because what we want is 16 ounces of this whole liquid. You know, you don't want to drink like three, four, five cups of stuff in the morning. You know, it's, it's just too much volume for your stomach. So here we go, guys. And it's not really a liquid. There's a lot of, you know, whole apple in there. And that's the key thing. Now, you guys have seen me strain smoothies before to get a nice texture. You want to keep all that fiber, all that volume of the apple in here. So the first few sips, I'm almost like chewing the apple mash and then the liquid is at the bottom. This isn't sweet at all. It's very plain, very mild flavor. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And the one thing I will say is, I don't think I'm gonna be using Granny Smith apples. I think I'm gonna get a Honeycrisp or Fuji apples. I think those are gonna be a little bit better for this application based on the, the ripeness and the starch content and the anti-nutrient content of those apples. But thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you guys try this out. This helps you a lot. Liver detox, hydrating, you know, giving your body volume in there. So what's going to happen over the next hour or two, you know, I'm going to go down to work. It, this is going to be pulling stuff out of my liver for maybe an hour or two. And then hopefully I can have another meal to push that through. Then another meal a couple hours later. And then at night, same thing. You want to keep constant volume going through your digestive system. Fasting is one of the worst things for your liver because if you're actually detoxing, what's going to happen in that, you know, five, six, seven, eight hour fast is those toxins are going to start getting reabsorbed into the blood and you're not going to feel well. But I think that wraps everything up for today. You guys can go to frank to check out all of my businesses. Oh, almost forgot. You might want to take kefir grains with this to help with the uh, absorption of the starch and sugar. Now, you don't want to drink water kefir with this because sometimes it has a little alcohol. That's not the best for the liver. This might be okay, might be fine. Not 100% sure and maybe some mastigum too. But again, the idea of this is minimal clean slate to detox the liver, adding mastigum and kefir grains maybe can be messed around with in the near future. Again, guys, frank If you could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.